Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the new video. So it is 5.53 right now. I am at LA Fitness about to kill an arm workout. It's the arm workout that I performed last week with Ike, but couldn't show you guys the movements. So I'm gonna show you guys the move this mor movements this morning. Gonna get in there, kill it, and I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>
what's up guys so had a crazy good arm workout this morning i definitely recommend y'all give that workout a try you know it's good when alden is sitting there complaining the entire time the man does not complain he hated doing that last bicep exercise the four sets of 50 on the barbell curl but right now i just got out of school got checked out actually because i'm heading down to my surgeon's office because i'm getting a shot injected to my knee i'll give you guys more information about that because i'm kind of in a rush and so i'll give you guys more information about that in a little bit but right now let's go ahead and make our way there <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you close your eyes. You'll yeah, close my eyes. So should I, you said you said I shouldn't expect any pain. Right? Yep. So the only part that you're gonna feel is me numbing it up with a little numbing this. Okay. The rest of it won't hurt. So can you guys see? I'm guessing. Let's see if you're in frame right there. It's a wide angle lens, I guess, right? Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's yeah. really wide. Okay. All right. So what you're seeing here is the ultrasound. That in camera there, so that's inside your knee. This little black dot right there is the inside of the joint. That's where we're headed. We're just going to numb it now. So this is cold. You feel that cold spray? Mm -hmm. Up here. It's going to burn a little bit. It's the part that hurts right here. There's my needle. That's the Take about 30 seconds to numb up. <laughs> All that blood. We expect a significant social media presence from this video. You will be on my YouTube, don't worry about so. it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm back from the doctor's office. Um, if you guys watched my shot, it hurts so bad. Uh, the numbing parts what hurt the most. After the needle they put in after it was numbed up wasn't bad at all. But the numbing needle that they put in hurt so bad. But I'm all good. Just got a bandaid on. Nothing too serious. Right now I'm back home though, and I'm making some 96.4. Lean ground beef to eat to probably put cook it with some rice um, And then I'm gonna talk to you guys about the whole situation that happened today and why I got it So talk to you guys after I finish up making this food What is up guys? So I uh, had a good meal. I think it ended up being like over 500 calories Really 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 good way to end my night with the meals just gonna snack the rest of the day I am pretty hungry right now but I'm gonna save the rest of my calories for a little bit later. So the best way to do that for me is just to drink a lot of water. But I wanna to talk to you guys about my knee. So today I had to go get a basically a stem cell shot in a way. So with my surgery, I had a torn ACL and both of my menisci were torn. And they were able to sew both menisci back together, but they're only sewed back together with like five sutures. And so there's a really limited blood, blood supply, blood flow going into those menisci. And so what they did was they drew, they drew blood from my arm, took it through a lab, and turned it into, I think, some sort of blood cell, I guess. And they injected it back into my knee, so hopefully that'll help make the blood flow and blood supply to both my menisci a lot better. They are not worried about my ACL, but they are worried about my menisci because they were able to sew them both back together. They can easily get retorn again. So. That's why we did that today. It was pretty painful, like I said. Just the numbing shot was the most painful part. Didn't even feel the second shot. Um, I'm not feeling any really any pain right now, but they say I could be a little bit sore for maybe a day or so. But as of now, I'm good. Just kind of been chilling, so I haven't put much pressure on it. So we'll see what happens later. But um, today is Alden's birthday, so I'm going to be celebrating with him tonight. So I'm gonna end this video for today. 
and I'm just going to take it into tomorrow. We're going to go out, maybe go bowling or something. I know Stars and Strikes has from 11 to 2. You can pay $15 and get all you can bowl. So we might end up doing that. We'll see. I'm going to go hang out with some of them right now. So I hope you guys like this video so far. Give it a thumbs up, please. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I do talk to YouTube fam in my room. What's up, guys? So, uh, had a fun time celebrating Alden's birthday last night. We went bowling, then hung out with some friends. Went ate Waffle House at like 2 in the morning. So, overall, I think Alden had a successful birthday. Um, we have just been chilling today. We woke up and we went and slept at Weston's house last night. We woke up at like 11.30ish. Um, and then we've just been chilling all day. Took a power nap to get ready for the gym. Now we're back at Alden's house. He's getting changed up. He got some new shoes. These things are pretty sweet. One of his birthday presents from his family. And he also got this outfit that he's got on right now. Just looking fresh always. We got to look good for the gym. But we're about to leave. We're going to be working out with Jacob Miller tonight. So I'll take a few clips of him probably and make it like a little bit of a collab, I guess you could say. But going to be hitting chest. I'm going to kill it. We're going to take turns picking exercises. So maybe Jacob will show us a few exercises that I don't normally do. So stay tuned for that. And I'll probably talk to you guys in a second. Just arrived at the gym, about to kill chess with Alden and Jacob. Hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you guys after the workout is finished. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another workout commentary. So I'm going to take you guys through my chess workout from yesterday's workout. I'm editing up this video the following day. So right here, we are starting out with some chess flies on this machine, doing about four sets, making our way up to some pretty heavy weight getting some blood flow in there before we start doing some pressing movements, but love that exercise and love that movement. Moving on to our second movement, which was recommended by Jacob, doing some incline dumbbell press. My incline dumbbell press has gone up a lot recently, and I've really enjoyed doing that as this has basically replaced my bench press because I'm not trying to hurt my shoulder. Um, I've, again, though, gotten pretty strong with this movement, moving some 80s right there, gone up to the 90s right here. We did four sets, six to eight, but I stayed in the eight rep range because I went to the six rep range the other day and got up to 100. So you guys, guys didn't see that video, go check out the recent one before this. But just pumping out the 90s right here. Um, Jake was pushing me, motivating me, Alden's motivating me. You know, it's good to work out with partners who are going to push you past that limit like they did just right there. This next movement right here, love this movement and love throwing in this uh, variation going left, right, both. So left, right, or opposite, and then both. That's one rep, so this is going to be boom. This is the second rep. Uh, and then coming right here, added some weight on this one. I have a 45, a 25, a 10, and a 5 on for this one. And then for my last set, I actually went up to 45s on each side. Pretty happy with moving that weight. It was hard, but I got all five on that one. Moving on to a superset now, gonna have decline press right here, going four sets, 15 to 20. I think I got 15 on this set, but my first set I started off with 20. Um, I'm not, again guys, not the biggest fan of doing barbell movements right now for pressing movements because I'm not trying to mess up my shoulder, but went lighter here, obviously that was 135, no big deal. And then for this machine dip right here, this is a, you put plates on the end, on the far right, you can't see them. I placed my forehead on it, put my right foot forward so all, all the weight of my body is on my forehead. And then I'm really focusing on the pressing movement to where it emphasizes a lot of my chest and not really my triceps. Not extending completely either to really focus on fatiguing my chest because it was not a tricep workout. Jumping into the last set right here on the decline, I think I got about 18 reps and I told Jacob, I was like, if I can't get 20, help me get 20 on the end. So pumping them out right here. Check out that head vein that I got going right there. That is a little freaky. Um, but right here again, guys, pumping them out as hard as I can, pushing myself to the limit, really squeezing my chest at the top. And then I'm getting to the point right now where I'm getting fatigued. Jacob's coming in and going to help me out for these last few reps to really finish up this Crazy good superset that I highly recommend. If you guys just have a dip machine or just a dip bar, just make up chest assisted and do not 
excuse me, do not extend your triceps all the way out, kind of go just shy of full extension, and then jump it in again, guys, to the last set right here on the machine dip. I did like doing this movement. I was going to do it a few weeks ago, but it was going to be our tricep movement, and I realized that it did a lot more for the chest, so that's why we threw it in for our chest workout. Then coming here to the end, the last exercise, doing a cable fly was so burnt, couldn't get too many reps. I think I got 12 or 13 on this set, but only did three sets of about 12 to 15 reps to really fatigue the chest and get that good pump at the end. Overall, guys, really successful workout. Ended with core. I hope you guys enjoyed. I highly recommend it. Everything was four sets, 12 to 15 reps, except for those first few incline and the exercise after. 